Please subscribe to Tutorial Mart channel and tap the bell icon to get all the latest updates whenever I upload the video. So in this video I am going to discuss one program each of switch case. Through the switch case implementation we will build a program for conversion of temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is a very important program and the logic is also important. Come on let's begin it and get our hand fresh on the concept of simple if. Come on. Now consider this program. This program is for conversion of Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Written in C language you can add the necessary header files but first let us understand this program then we will execute it. The main function starts from here and it ends here. The first statement is int choice. So a choice, a memory for choice will be created for integer type. Double temp comma answer. So temp and ans the memory will be created and the memory is of double type. The double is basically having more range than that of float in C programming language. So we have taken double because after doing some calculation the answer can turn out to be a bit larger answer to hold that answer correctly precisely we have taken double and not taken float here you can take float also then printf enter temperature so this statement is printed as it is like this on your console screen then scanf percentage lf now for integer we used percentage d for float we use percentage f and for double we use percentage lf lf specifically means long float we discussed this in format specifiers video you can have a look at the video that is discussing all the format specifiers that are used in c programming language the link is given in the description of the video or it is flashing in the above right corner of the screen you can directly navigate to it from there then scanf percentage lf comma ampersand temperature that means the user will enter some temperature here suppose the user has entered the temperature as 42.6 this is the temperature user has entered then uh, printf select and enter your choice this will be printed as it is select and enter your choice with slash n slash n means the next statement will be printed in the next line so the next statement is printf 1 dot Fahrenheit to Celsius. So 1 dot Fahrenheit to Celsius is printed next line because of this slash n and because of this slash n the next statement will again be printed in next line printf 2 dot Celsius dot Fahrenheit. So 2 dot Celsius dot Fahrenheit is also in next line and again there is slash n. So for the next statement enter your choice will be in next line here enter your choice. Now scanf percentage d comma m percent choice we have used percentage d because choice is of integer type now you will enter your choice if you want to convert the temperature from fahrenheit to celsius or from celsius to fahrenheit suppose i enter my choice as 2 i want to convert celsius to fahrenheit okay then this choice variable will have 2 and switch case is applied on this choice so using the switch selection statement we will take out our answer this 2 will get matched with case 2 case 2 has answer is equals to temp into 1.8 plus 32 so it will be ans is equals to 42.6 into 1.8 plus 32 it will come around 107.6 i am not exact but you can calculate it somewhat this might be coming then this statement is executed and ans has got the value 107.6 107.6 we choose the choice as 2 now the next statement in the case is printf the temp in Fahrenheit is percentage LF. This percentage LF will get value from answer. Answer is also of double type. So we have used percentage LF here. The temp in Fahrenheit is in Fahrenheit is 107.6. Because of this answer, we have got the value 107.6. Then this break statement will take us out of the switch case. The next statement after the here the switch case got ended i forgot to put the closing brace this is the switch case then the break will take us out of the switch case in the next statement after this quiz switch case is get ch so the program will terminate i hope the concept is clear to you the concept of switch case is also clear to you and you will practice well this in your pc as well
So I hope you have enjoyed this video and your hands are well good prepared to practice the switch case statements more and more and this program is also very well understood to you and you can build up your new programs using the switch statement very soon using the constructs that I may tell you later on also using that implementations and implementing whatever I have taught to you till now. If you like the video and the explanation please hit the like button please share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please hit the subscribe button also and one more thing don't forget to watch the description of the video as in the description you may find many other important links that may be of importance to you for your future reference i may have shared the code with you or the notes of the topic you can find whatever it is there in the description but one thing is please watch it carefully thank you have a nice day